<laughs> While I'm out here, I figured I might as well demo um, a bird inspection. I haven't done it in a while. And this guy got in front of my view, so went and scooped him up. But this is where you're going to be checking for mites. So right in here, this is where you would see mites going crazy. Northern fowl mites. Um, the red poultry mites will crawl up their leg and then go onto their body. But again, that's only for about two hours a day at nighttime. Northern fowl mites will be under the wings on the bird at all times. Um, I think they leave the bird very infrequently. This is another area you'll want to check. So the vent area, you'll want to make sure that there's no build up there. This is also where you'd want to look for lice. Lice love the warm, moist area that is the vent and all the fluff. Um, so you would look for eggs in there as well. So you want to get a good look to make sure there's not any clusters or anything like that. You've got nice clean feathers, nothing crawling around on the skin. You can do layer after layer and you see clean feathers. And like I said, no critter crawlers. You would see scabs as well if there was lice in that area. So that's another good giveaway. While I'm looking them over, you can always look at the face. You're looking for a discharge of any kind. Sorry, there's a pen right there. Discharge of any kind, any kind of sores or cuts or any of that kind of stuff. You're also looking for if you have bearded friends or muffed friends or both. Um, you would want to check their beard area for lice as well because they really like that area. You can almost do it by just feeling because you can feel the feathers and you know, feel the build up of eggs. Um, going down to the crop. And find it. There it is. So he's got a semi full crop, which is perfect. He's a rooster. He usually do not eat too, too much. Um, going to the back checking and see if I can find his preen gland. There it is right there. It's just this little gland, um, oil gland at the base of the tail. Yeah. Going to the feet. So into the armpit again. I try to put a finger in between. He's got a piece of wood chips on him. Um, I go through and I feel for any heat of any kind. Um, and then I'm looking, spreading the toes and looking for a bumblefoot of any kind. So there's just a bit of dirt on the corner there, but um, you would want, bumblefoot would be, and it would be like a scab. Um, so he doesn't have anything like that. His spurs are still really small because he's young, but there's no buildup on them. Beautiful, slight blue legs on a breast. This is one of Theo's sons. He's a very good boy. He's a very good boy. So that is a pretty good thorough inspection. Obviously do both wings. Check the crop, make sure that they're eating well. Yeah, you're beautiful. You see yourself? Anyway, that's a good bird inspection. Haven't done one in a while. Any questions, just drop them.